Four years ago we participated in the National Solar Schools Program and we decided to split the grant four ways so we had a range of um, sustainable options and one was to produce uh, electricity from solar panels. We also had a solar panel which heats water and we also put in energy efficient lighting in two of our blocks as well as water tanks which feed our gardens. Gardening is an elective sport that students choose to do themselves and what we'll do is we'll mulch gardens and we'll weed gardens. We'll plant vegetables and herbs in the veggie patches. And just a little bit rewarding because we got to do it ourselves and we got the produce at the end. In Year 7, in Term 1 and 2, we planted 40 to 50 plants in bare patches around the school and now after six years they're between two and three metres tall. Using the rainwater tanks we irrigate the native gardens around the school. Um, we use drip irrigation which provides water straight to the roots of the plants which increases water efficiency. In the classroom we actually use models of solar hot water systems which show how we can change sunlight into heat energy and also the solar panels which show students how we can convert sunlight into uh, electricity and how solar power can be used to create motion such as in cars and motorised vehicles. This is a solar car that we built to race at the Sunswing competition, which is held at the University of New South Wales on an annual basis. One of the important things in a high school is that students do something about the environment and it becomes part of themselves so that they actually see things grow and have a bit of ownership of the place that they're actually living in. We encourage the students to have a think about these choices, how they're going to plan their homes and that they've got options to think about. Thank you.